juice. Shalom, shalom. All right, so today, um, what I wanted to do, family Israel, those who may see this, you know, after we upload it, over time, you know, in the walk, seeing the path and, and the place that the Most High brought myself from, talking to other brothers and sisters, seeing where they came from, and the many paths that the Most High. Then, then took us from the darknesses, the different darknesses that he's drawn us from into his marvelous light. Uh, I wanted to begin getting testimonies from brothers and sisters throughout the nation, all right, with the intent of knowing that by you sharing your story, others will hear that story, and by your story, others can be encouraged, others can be strengthened. It'd be some people who walking now in the walk, or wanting to get into the world, but feeling that because of where they are in life, is nobody that can relate to them. All right, so what I want to do with this, uh, prayerfully by the unction of the Father, guided by the Holy Spirit, uh, with with laboring, uh, getting the labor done with the uh, assistance of Hamashiach, is to bring brothers and sisters on to share their story. You know, those who are willing uh, to, to share with the nation what you've been through, what you've seen, what you experienced, where you came from, your journey into the truth. All right, so um, on today, you know what I mean, the Father has blessed us with a willing soul, Brother Bama. You know what I mean? Um, the brother was from, from meeting him, from the jump. You know, the brother got a powerful spirit of mind, sincere about the truth and the word. You know what I mean? Had a chance not only to converse with them far as verbally over the phone you know what i mean through comments from the youtube but also in person you know what i mean so got a, a, a feel for the brother all right so today I, I wanted i asked him invited him on 
you know what I mean, to do the honors, to share this first go round, his story into the truth. All right. Uh, Before we get into it, uh, I just want to share this verse because this this is a part of the foundation of what's inspiring this. You know what I'm saying? And moving forward, we want to give other brothers and sisters on. Uh, you know what I mean? If you if you're willing to do it, you know we'll have a conversation about it. Shoot me your information, the children of the prophets, one four four at gmail dot com. All right, but Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. And it reads, Israel, it says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. So we see the day approaching. We see that we live in the last hour. And within that time, it tells us to exhort one another the more. Encourage one another. And we can be encouraged. We can be strengthened. We can be enlightened. We can be edified and motivated through the stories of one another. All right. So uh, all praises to the most high. Without any further ado, Brother Bamar, how you doing, brother? Man, everything's lovely, King. Come, come, I'll praise to the most high, man. I'm just blessed to be a willing vessel. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, indeed, King. I right, well, so uh, anything you want to say before we jump into it? Well, I just want to say shalom one to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Uh, to those that, that know they Israel and, and to the dry bones mm-hmm. in, in the valley uh, that soon to be to wake up. Mm-hmm. Just want to say shalom one. Come, 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 shallow one. I'm crazy. And my prayer is that all is will be saved. Mm. Come, come, huh? All praise to the most high, man. All right, so with this walk, man, you know, how how long or, or what was the I tell you what the first question I have is when were you first introduced to the truth? Well, uh well that's 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 well, I was first introduced to the truth uh, by the Most High uh, appealing to me three times. Mm. You know, the, the scriptures say uh, by two or three witnesses, let every word be established. So mm. he, he appealed to me uh, just from divine uh, intervention. Mm. Okay, uh, talk to me some more about that. Well, uh, shoot, the, the first appeal he had to me, uh, one day I was just in my house, uh, just laying on the couch. Uh, you know, I thought my family was at the house, but just like in my spirit, I don't know if it was in my spirit or audible voice, uh, I heard that my spirit come out of her. Mm. And you know, at, at the time, uh, I didn't know what that meant, but you know, as, as I kept seeking the most high, he eventually revealed to me what come out of her was, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Through me seeking him. Mm. Man, it's powerful, man. Yeah, you know, and that's awesome to hear. You know, because even within the nation, you know, some people they 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 kind of they don't take well to it. Like for you to say that you heard them, you know what I mean? To yeah. say speaking audibly, so on and so forth. Yeah. But the most I work with different people in different ways. You know what I mean? And we even have the scripture to back that up. Far as uh, when the most I do speak to some, you know, what I mean? or even as he spoke to Samuel. Exactly. Indeed. Indeed. But if, if you want to, uh, King, you can go to First Samuel three and nine, and uh, we can edit the scripture of uh, how you spoke to me. Come, come, let's do it. First Samuel chapter three. First Samuel chapter three. I'm getting there. First Samuel chapter. Yeah, yeah just, just start from the top. Okay, I got you. First Samuel chapter three, and we're gonna start from the top. All right. First Samuel chapter three, verse one, it says, and the child Samuel ministered unto the Most High before Eli. And the word of the Most High was precious in those days. There was no open vision. And it came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And ere the lamp of the Most High went out in the temple of the Most High where the ark of the Most High was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. 
And the Most High called Samuel. And he answered, Here am I. Let's start right there, King. Okay. See that? When the Most High appealed to me, I forgot to add that to the story. I, I heard him call my name in the spirit. He, he said, Brandon. Mm. And, and I jumped up. And, and I went through the house. I was looking for my wife. I was looking for my children. I was trying to figure out who called my name. Mm. But at the time, it wasn't clear to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But as time prevailed, you know, through the scriptures, through seeking him, he revealed to me that was him calling me. Mm. So, so the scriptures say Samuel, but I just applied myself because he was speaking to me in the same manner. He called my name. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Come, come. Continue. And, and and also, can you let me say this? Mm -hmm. the, the, the here am I is, is pretty much answering the call through your action. When you say here am I, that means you, you surrender your will to heal. So you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you throw your white flag up and say, hey, it's your way or no way at all. So my here am I was the first step of, of answering the call when he called my name. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going, King. Indeed, all praises. All right, First Samuel chapter three verse five, and he ran unto Eli, and said, "Here am I, for thou callest me." And he said, "I called not. Lie down again." And he went and lay down. And the Most High called yet again Samuel, and Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, "Here am I, for thou didst call me." And he answered, "I called not, my son. Lie down again." Verse 7, now Samuel did not yet know the Most High, neither was the word of the Most High yet revealed unto him. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Neither was the word yet revealed unto me. Mm -hmm. Keep mm -hmm. going. King. All right, verse 8, and it says, and the Most High called Samuel again the third time. And he arose and went to Eli and said, here am I, mm -hmm. for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Most High had called mm -hmm. Child. Verse 9. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, O holy one, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Con, con. Oh, con, con, huh? So I, I showed I hear it by the first step. Mm. That, that, that call, when he called me, uh, considering my ways, by saying yes. Okay. So at that point, uh, you know, what far as like, because dealing with people over time, you know what I mean, and sharing the truth, you know, trying to uh, unction other souls to come into the fold, we, we coming from all types of places, you know what I mean? So far as religion, from what we understand it to be, where, uh -huh. where, where were you in your life at that point in time when you heard it? Man. At that point in time, King, I was in the uh, Sunday church. Uh, I started off in the uh, Kojic church, Church mm -hmm. of God in Christ, mm -hmm. for uh, 28 years. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, I left I left Kojic and I, I went to non-denomination. Okay. And, you know, I, I was deceived even thinking, you know, non-denomination means no division. Okay. But you know, through extensive study and research, I, I soon to find out that uh, even non the denomination is still up under the Roman Catholic banner. You know, mm -hmm. it's still Roman Greco. It's part of the uh, Roman Church. You know what I'm saying? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. So, so pretty much, yes. pretty much, all the way up until I was 40 years old, I was in the, the church. Mm. 28 years, man, in the Koji yeah. Church. Okay. So, uh, we, we, after the call, right? And, and being exposed and being in the environment because it's that's a lot, man, to be exposed to. You know what I'm saying? Like, so did you have any type of status in the church? You know, was, was were you just a, a faithful member? Like, you know, well, what actually, your role? Well, actually, uh, I was a pillar of the church. You know, I, I was a deacon. Mm. Well, actually, <laughs> they called it uh, an alternate deacon. Mm. I, I was so called a deacon in training. Mm. But uh, I, I never got installed, uh, but I was still functioning as, as an active deacon. Okay. And, you know, uh, I, I never was big on titles, you know, in the church. Uh, 
I feel like we are ordained by the most high and not by man. So I knew my calling and, and I function in, in, in the uh, grace I know the most high put on my life, you know, even in the Sunday church, you know. So pretty much you can say I was uh, per se a deacon mm. in the church. Indeed, man. It's, so there's really something though, to come from. And, and, and this 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 why it's powerful, you know what I mean? Because we got brothers and sisters who, who may have been attending the Sunday church for just as long. You know what I'm saying? And even within that time span, they might not have come unto or hearkened unto their call. You know what I mean? So for, for others to hear that, please pay attention, brothers and sisters. The brother just said he was in a Sunday church 28 years and, and had gotten to the point where he was recognized, though they said a deacon in training, he was functioning as an active deacon. You know what I mean? Okay. Somebody who was... You know what I mean? Recognized within the church. You know what uh, I mean? Most had him grab this man and brought him out. Now, now tell me more. So, like their their walk of being a deacon. You know what I mean? And, and hearing the most how to tell you come out of her, you didn't understand at that point. So, uh, when did you start to understand? Well, well, I tell you what, can you got the sword with you? Indeed, I do. Through through this prayer, because come within me. I always knew something wasn't right, and I was always seeking the truth and the whole truth. Because mm. you know, the scripture teach, you know, uh, once you know the truth, the truth will make you free. You see what I'm saying? So it was always on my heart to know the absolute truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The, the unadulterated word of the Most High, you know, the engrafted word that's able to save our souls. So I'm going to tell you the scriptures I meditated on and the Most High on it. These, these uh, very scriptures. Let, let's go to uh, Matthew 15 and 13, King. Okay. It's just two scriptures for the edification uh, of the listeners. You know what I'm saying? Indeed, brother. Indeed. All right. Matthew chapter 15. You said verse 13. Verse 13. Yes, verse 13. sir. It says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Mm. Come, come. So mm. that was my prayer. Uh, most high, every, every, every seed that you didn't plant, pluck it up. Mm. Uproot it. You mm. see what I'm saying? Mm. Man, it's awesome. And, and let's go to uh, Jeremiah, Yehu, uh, chapter 29, verse 13. Okay. 29, Pluck up those roots, those things that's not from the Father, let it not take root in us. Indeed. Come, on, come, on, come. On. All right, Jeremiah 29, and what verse? Uh, 13, King. All right, verse 13, and it says, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Indeed. Not some of it, but all. With all your heart. Yep. All right. Verse 14, and it says, And I will be found of you, say of the Most High, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, say of the Most High, and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Boy. Now, this is it, King. Go come. Indeed, indeed, to seek the Most High with the yeah. whole heart. With the whole heart. So through my seeking, through my fasting, through my praying, uh, he, he, he honored their prayer. You mm -hmm. know, it was an earnest plea. And he honored the king. Indeed. When I prayed it to the Most High. So once you, you know, when you were shaking, once he revealed it to you, and you understood that, so you, you, you came to the point eventually that you were being led by the blind then. Con, con. Okay. And, and I'm going to tell you one of the ways I knew, you know, one, once he started waking me up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, giving me spiritual revelation, you know, giving me understanding. Mm -hmm. you know, lighting my eyes into the truth. Uh, you know, the most high was already dealing with me. He, when he said come out of her, it was on Halloween. Mm. So... 
I just started, you know, uh, digging, doing extensive uh, study and uh, studying up on the ho- the uh, hell of days, you know, and, and found out that they was pagan. Mm. And, and I knew that Mashiach wasn't a pagan. I knew he wasn't no heathen. Mm. But being so engulfed in the Sunday church, you know, the, the Sunday doctrine and, and uh, you know, being Americanized, you know, you, you, you born into this, you know what I'm saying? We learned the way of the heathens unconsciously, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it was uh, on Christmas when I walked into church, uh, I saw a banner on the wall. It said, happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> man, so, on, man. so right then and there I knew I said man come on man that's a lie mm-hmm. you know that's Tamu's birthday that, that ain't Christ's birthday I, you know they, they can't make a day I, you know the Mashiach birthday mm-hmm. say that's his birthday and, and, and the scriptures don't even tell you his birthday the, the, the closest you're going to get I think when he was nine I think mm. Uh, in, in the scripture, you know. So I knew that was a lie right there, man. So like I said, it's many things he, he revealed to me uh, that wasn't true, but just much enough to carry it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, to take off that stronghold that was on me from the delusion uh, from the Sunday church, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and a, lot of, a lot of it was just through, you know, fasting and praying, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Indeed, yes, indeed, King. So he said that strong delusion and wrestling and having to muster up the, the, the strength. So I, I take it that it, it, it had become a battle then. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was vacillating back and forth, King. Uh, you know, uh, even 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 when I when I received the fact that I was an Israelite, uh, there still wasn't enough, you know, to give me the strength, you know, to come out of her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's something. And, yep. a, and that go a long way because even even hearing you say that it goes on into the understanding of the journey that each one of us got to take brothers and sisters it, it don't stop when we find out that we israel you know what i mean it's, it's more work to be done you know what i'm saying that ain't that ain't just the the main focus that's a, a, a key point you know what i'm saying it's very important but we got more to do besides after we found out our identity all right so so to uh, brother Bama, you know. So how how when did you find out you were an Israelite? Then how that go? Man, uh, this brother from uh, ILG, you know what I'm saying. I grew up with him in the hood. Uh, okay. Shout out to my brother uh, Pete over there in ILG. The brother, you know what I'm saying. He 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 wrestled with me. You know what I'm saying. Mm. Uh, I I was doing some posts, you know, uh, on Facebook you know, through the Sunday doctrine and, and he challenged me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, the scriptures uh, talk about prove all things, you know what I'm saying? So the brother, he wrestled with me, mm. you know, we rigorously, you know what I'm saying, wrestled through the scriptures, has through the scriptures and, uh, you know what I'm saying? So the scriptures say, seek ye out the book and read. Mm-hmm. So the most high, you know, just put a spirit on me to start reading for myself, man. And, uh, you know, when he illuminated me and lighted my eyes to the scriptures, I started reading the scriptures through a Hebraic lens, mm. you know, because it was a time I thought all the patriarchs was white, were European. I, mm. I thought the Mashiach was European. I thought Moses was European. Man. Then I got to read, you know, the scriptures uh, 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 talk about how the Mashiach uh, opened up the disciples' understanding, mm. that, that they might understand the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I started putting two and two together, like, how can the Mashiach hide in Egypt? If he was a European, mm. I started saying to myself, he would have stuck out like a sore thumb. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The same thing with Moses. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. Okay, but my, okay, indeed, indeed. Salaki, Salaki, I, I interrupt Salaki. But but the same thing with Moses. Uh, he was with Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? If if he was a European, he would have stood out like a sore thumb. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed, King. My all praise for that. And, and shout out again. S- strong salute to that brother Pete. You know what I mean? That brother. Man, that, that brother tussled with me, man. That brother tussled with me. And, and the scriptures say, consider your ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so man. I, I was open. You know what I'm saying? Open, open to the truth. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm. More yeah. even more power right there. It's a two way street, man. You know, yeah. and I'm saying is because, like I said, brothers, those who tuning in and, and listening, watching, or who will see this, you know, what I mean, we we sharing in the testimony of this brother, his walk, you know, what I mean, his journey into the truth, you know, what I mean, seeing how he come into the fold, and it's for us to take a, a account of what was happening, you know, what I mean, hearing that he said this brother Pete, he was making posts that he pretty much confident in through the Sunday doctrine. And the brother then came to him and challenged what he thought he knew. Now, for us to take from that, of course, if we're going to take that stand and do the same thing, we want to move with wisdom. You know what I mean? It ain't for us to go, you know what I mean, just going crazy on somebody, bashing them and attacking them. But like he said, the brother said a, a, a key statement. He hashed and wrestled with them through the scripture. You know what I mean? Not, not in a sense of, you know what I mean? To be belittling or, or whatnot. I, I'm not sure if this how it went, but just for our edification, you know, what I would lay on the table for us to do. If we see our brothers and sisters, you know, dealing with these Sunday doctrines, I know we can get tired from time to time. Hold on, brothers and sisters. All right? Because uh, even none of us came into this thing just overnight like that. You know what I mean? And if you did, you didn't get everything down packed overnight. You still had to study. Keep going. Uh -huh. And building yourself up you know oh. so this is what this is about as well too to strengthen us even further all right as we see the day approach with everything that's going on all right but you said the brother has with you through the scriptures Ralph, yeah. and, and, go ahead go ahead well i tell you what king uh that, that that's the second witness you know what i'm saying okay uh, uh go to go to second corinthians uh chapter three verse one before i go to this third witness Okay. Second, you know, yes. You know, the Most High, he he don't do nothing new, so uh, he 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 operates and functions just like the scriptures tell us. Mm -hmm. Now we want Second Corinthians. What's that? Uh, thirteen and one. Okay. Second Corinthians thirteen and one. All right, and it reads. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the month of two, Salaki, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Come. Yeah. So uh, that that was my second witness. Mm -hmm. My third witness. It was crazy how it happened, man. It, it was on it was on the Shabbat. <laughs> oh man. The Most High been dealing with me. You know, I'm, I'm vacillating back and forth. I'm, I'm knowing I was supposed to be in the Sunday church, but that stronghold, you know, of, of uh, getting connected with people in the flesh, you know what I'm saying? Knowing I'm a pillar in the church, you know, feeling like if I left, that the church was gonna crumble, you Ooh. know? And then, you know, at the time, uh, I was a youth minister too, and uh, just building them relationships, you know, with the young kings and queens, you know, and you know, just man, it was it was just a tough decision, man. I, and uh, but I just want to encourage whoever listening, you know, the scripture uh encourages us that we can do all things through the Mashiach mm -hmm. who strengthens us. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, man, on on the Shabbat, man, uh, my wife was getting ready. Man, I was just laying in the bed, man. I'm like, man, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of kicking against the preach, man. Cause, Cause I, I, I know the Most High. He on play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's great, sufficient for me, man. And um, uh, I, I just was, you know, uh, in, in my spirit, man. I, I was saying, man, hey, I can't be going back and forth. And uh, in my spirit, the Most High was saying, are you gonna come out of her? Mm. And man, I'm, I'm tossing and turning, man, tossing and turning. Uh, you, you know, even even worrying about what my wife gonna say when I make this decision. You know, what the pals are gonna think when I make this decision. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but the scriptures uh, encourage us to to obey the Most High than to obey man. That's right. So I was 40 at the time, my 40th birthday, man. And uh, I was just praying in the praying. Uh, to the most high, you know, and uh, all of a sudden a notification went off on my Apple Watch. Mm. And when I read the Apple Watch, 
the Apple Watch said, it's time to spend. Mm, ain't there something? And so, man, I took that. Uh, hey, that was the most high speaking to me. And, man, I made a decision, man. Hey, I, I hate to do what the most high told me to do, man. And, uh, man, I called my pastor. And uh, and told him, hey, I won't be coming back to church. I resigned from my position. Mm. And, and told him I, I appreciate the you know the spiritual growth and development. But I said, as of now, I spoke for my wife too. Mm. I said, not be returning to church. Mm. And that was it, man. I went cold turkey, man. Mm. I, I know, I know, I know the Most High ain't playing, man. So. Hey, my, my heart was fixing, man. My mind was made up, man, to obey the most high. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No no matter what it costs me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mine is powerful. Oh, I, I got a scripture. Uh, can you go to Psalms 119 and 60? Okay. Psalm and, this, and this is where I was at, man, uh, with his last appeal to me, you know? Okay. All right. Psalm 119, verse 60. It says, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Mm. I made haste. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I felt in my spirit that was the last stop sign. Because he, he was dealing with me and uh, I know it was bigger than me. Mm. You know, because out of every family, he, he wake one up as a remedy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For each for each house, each family. So uh, I, I know I was that remedy. So that that's where it was, where it was at, King. Man, hey, all praise to the Most High for that, man. You know what I'm saying? It, just the, that story, you know what I mean? Just for all praise to the Most High for you being able to recognize, you know, him him beckoning you too, you know, what I mean? and, and hearkening to when he was speaking through whatever means he spoke to you. You know, even on that last, like you said, the last witness, it was on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath, and then and I kept I kept the Sabbath too. <laughs> you know, look at that, man. Look at that. And then said oh, to right. watch. You know what I mean? You you could have seen it's time to stand on the banner, like when you said you came into the to the cathedral or the the church house, and you saw it say it Happy Birthday to Christ or whatever. You know exactly. what I mean? And then that means, but you seen it on the watch, and then you know, man, this thing the, the time is of essence. It's time yes, for real, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And it's uh -huh. powerful, huh? So you then came out, you called the pastor, you just straight tell, told him. My old turkey. Mm. And, and, and they, they couldn't understand it because, you know, like I said, I was a pillar in the church, you mm. know, faithful tither, and, and you know, uh, they, they knew the anointing that was on my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't that a blessing, man. So... You know, you know, uh, all praise to the Most High. Mm -hmm. All praise uh, to the Most High, man. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, they did everything to sway me back, you know. Uh, but I, I was sincere in my decision, you know. Indeed, man. All praise. Sincere. Steadfast and unmovable. So, even like what the scripture tell us too, you know, for, for encouragement, exhortation, admonishment for anybody else who might be struggling with it, it, and it might not even be necessarily being a pillar in one of these churches. It might be in any type of organization. It might even be you being a pillar within your family, your household. You know what I mean? In, in different occasions. If, if the Most High is unctioning you and, and calling you to make a stand, because you know something's not right with, with the exactly. tradition. You know what I mean? Because the issue becomes tradition versus the truth. You know what I mean? And the scripture let us know the time will come what well, a true worshipers will serve the most high in truth and in spirit. You know what I mean? So we got to have those both doubled up. And then also uh right. from the Messiah let us know who have forsaken lands, who have forsaken mothers, brothers, sons, and daughters, you know what I mean, for his sake. See in, in this life, if, if you've been a forsaken, he said he'll he'll give you a double portion of that. Mm. Multiply it to, to anybody. And who can love? He said, if you love father, mother, child, or daughter, you know what I mean, son or daughter more than me, you're not worthy. We want we wouldn't be worthy of the Messiah. So that hindrance, had you not overcome, came that hurdle right there, you know, being tied into those many relationships, brother. All praise to the most uh -huh. you having strength. 
you know, uh, to to the the youth ministry that you were dealing in. You know, what I mean, I'm sure besides that, all the brothers and sisters in the church, you know, who were familiar with you, you know, what I mean, the the pastor himself. Exactly. And what was the relationship? Twenty eight years, y'all had to have some type of relationship, man. And, and I'm and I'm glad you said that, King. Uh, and you know, my my earthly father passed, uh, so. Mm. So he, he took on he he took on me and, and you know and, and begat me through the gospel. You know the scriptures say uh, you have you have ten thousand instructors but not many fathers. Mm. So he was considered per se my my spiritual father. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine that bond we had. Mm. Guess, man. <laughs> but you know what though? I really sincerely believe deep down inside he knew because mm. when I left, he told me he said oh. Uh, he said, I know you know the voice of the Most High. And he said, I know for a fact you seeking him for the perfect will of your life. Mm. Oh, praise. But you know, uh, through through tradition and, and uh, uh, you know, being comfortable for what the people want, mm. uh, he wasn't willing to teach the people the truth because even he said, son, it's a lot of stuff I know, but I ain't going to teach it because the people ain't going to receive it. Mm. Oh man, ain't that something? You know what I'm saying, I mean, it got to the point where I even uh, wrestled with my pastor. You know, we had an open class Bible study. Okay. You know, I questioned him about the Sabbath. He said, he said, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. He said the Sabbath has always been Saturday. Mm. But he said, us as Gentiles, we have to have a day to worship the Most High on Sunday, so called the Lord's Day. Oh man, God down. Boy. So I, I was challenging him. So he, even he know the truth, he knew the truth, or he willing to go with the, the deception to keep the people. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. God dog, man. So I said, yep. let, me, let me get a couple of scriptures on that though. Understanding the Sabbath. You know what I mean? Because that that's one of the commandments that's key. You know, and I remember being out on the street, you know, me and the brothers. And we had a, another brother. He was soaked. He was soaked in his Sunday doctrine. You know what I mean? And saying that Sunday was the Lord's day, so on and so forth. So let me get a couple of precepts for for the family, man. And, and some would even say, well, you know, outside of what he told you, saying that it's always been certain amount. And that's man, that's heavy right there. That's something like to to know that and still promote contrary to what the word say. And you a pastor, you know what exactly. I mean? So, and brothers and sisters, this is another reason why, you know what I mean? We have to come out of them. You know what I mean? Because they 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 not teaching the truth in these churches. Not not all churches, you know what I mean, but a lot of them. You know what I mean? And we praying that their brother, you know what I mean, come to to get the strength to, to be able to tell the people what the truth is, whether he lose uh members or not, you know what I mean? Because we all got to give answers. You know, uh -huh. and, and that's one of the prerequisites. You got to want to know the truth. You know what I mean? He, he said he'll give us leaders that'll feed us. You know what mm. I mean? And contrary to that, if you want to hear a word, just, just somebody telling you where you're going to be blessed, everything will be out. The most high I'll let you have that type of shepherd. But if you look for somebody who's going to tell you the truth straight to it, he'll allow that type of person to come around. All right? So we're going to the intent with three scriptures on the Sabbath. All right, Genesis 2 showing that it, it, it was before Moses, y'all. Genesis 2, verse 1 says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, the Most High ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day, from all his work, which he had made. And the Most High blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. Because that in it, he had rested from all his work, which the Most High Creator created and made. All right, so there's one showing that it's before Moses. All right, and said he rested, which the Sabbath. The Most High let us know that, that the Sabbath is for rest, along with the convocation. Right. And other stipulations that we'll be able to talk about in another, uh, 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 with the point of time that the Most High grant us to talk about. It. All right, but let's go to Revelation. We're going to go to Revelation real quick. Then we're going to get back to uh, anything else that Brother Bamar would want to share with us. 
We'll cover this real quick though. Revelation chapter 1. Still talking about the Sabbath day. And understanding too, family, that you know, us moving through the scripture from book to book, it is it, it was told we were instructed to instructed to do so. You know what I mean? Said rightly divide the word. Hear a little, there a little. All right. But Revelation chapter one. And it reads, oh, let's see where I started. Oh, do, 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 do. When he said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Let's see. Oh, do, do. Okay. Yeah. Verse nine, Revelation one, verse nine. It says, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation. And in the kingdom and patience of Yeshua HaMashiach was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of the Most High and for the testimony of the Messiah. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. All right, so edification, if we want to, okay, what is the Lord's day? Let's go to Deuteronomy 5 and 14. Uh -huh. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 14. So we can put these in our calibers for our precepts. You know what I mean? We have these, uh, you know, for our, for our edification. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 14. All right. And it says, but the seventh day. Matter of fact, let me, let me jump back up. Show you even more how it, it's identifying the seventh day to be the Sabbath. Verse 12 says, keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it as the most high thy power have commanded thee. Keep the Sabbath day now. Verse 13, six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. Verse 14, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the most high thy power. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thine ox, nor thine ass, nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. All right, but it's clearly saying here that the seventh day is mm -hmm. the Sabbath. You know what I mean? So it ain't no way around it. Sunday is not the Sabbath day, brothers and sisters. Anybody who didn't know. All right. So, aside from that, brother, you got anything else you want to share with the nation, man? Uh, well, I just wanted to uh, bring out a precept. Uh, where is that where it talks about uh, what the Mashiach said? He the Lord of the Sabbath. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to Matthew. Say he's the Lord of the Sabbath, indeed. And you know, some people even use that in the case to say, you know. Well, he, he's the Lord of the Sabbath, so I don't have to, you know, do so on and so forth. All right, let me find it for you, though. Oh, do, 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 do. Shoot from the hip. Let me find it. Excuse me. It's all right, man. It's all right. All right, uh. Mm -mm -mm. Matthew 12, Matthew 12, verses, let's see, verse 8, verse 8, brother, right at it, did you want to get it right at that, yep, there's, there's right on it, did you want to get the context, uh, it's, no, it's all good, uh, I just wanted you to bring out this, uh, where, where it say, uh, he the Lord of the Sabbath, you know, for those that try to uh, have validity that Sunday is the Lord's day. Oh, yeah, indeed. All right. So Matthew chapter 12, verse 8 says, For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. All right. Sabbath. He didn't say Sunday. He didn't say Monday. Right. In two, even though he is the Lord of all those days, too. But showing you, like, distinctively, even when we go back to Genesis 2, like what we read. He said that the Most High blessed 
the seventh day. He didn't say he blessed any other. Mm -hmm. he, he he set this day aside. He sanctified the Sabbath day. And even on it, let's get one more, mm -hmm. or maybe two more. And, and, and like I said, then we'll we'll jump back into your your testimony, brother. Okay. All right. So Exodus chapter twenty verse eight says, "Remember the Sabbath day to mm -hmm. keep it holy." All right, to keep the Sabbath day. It didn't say the Sunday or any other day. Say, remember the Sabbath day. All right, why? Let's go to, let's see what I want. 31, Exodus 31. Exodus 31, verse 12, where I started. It says, And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. So surely you shall keep my Sabbaths. So you can celebrate and, and worship on another day, but make sure it, you worshiping and serving on the Sabbath, this seventh day, which is serving. All right? It says, For it is a sign. This is the power in it, y'all. For it is a sign. Mm between me and you throughout your generations that ye may know that i am the most high that do sanctify you all right so by keeping the Sabbath, it's a sign between those who are inhabiting and on the face of the earth between them and the creator the most high all right and we want that sign on us if you're going into these sunday churches on sunday listen that sign is not on you you don't have a sign in a covenant between you and the most high you know what I mean? You actually within sin in that case. All right? And then even when we read about the, the different ways of keeping the Sabbath, me, myself, coming out the Kojic background as well. You know, on Sunday, you went to church. You We still, when we left service, we went to church as chicken, spending money. We're not supposed to do business on the Sabbath day. You know what I mean? We're supposed to find our own pleasures on the Sabbath day. That's not what the Word said to do. That's not the instructions of the Most High. All right, oh. but you got more though, brother. What else would you want to share with the people, man? Uh, well, I just I just want to say, man. Also, as well, uh, uh, it's for whoever I'm talking to. Uh, I can speak on it because I was once that had that mindset. It ain't a such thing as an undercover Hebrew. Mm. You know that that's your heritage, that's your bloodline. You know we're a peculiar pe people. We're a holy nation you know, called out of darkness into his marvelous light. You know what I'm saying? So uh, be proud to be an Israelite. And uh, it, it's time for us to take a stand. Mm. It's time for us to take a stand. And, and uh, you know, it, we can't be undercover with it. You know, it, it's who you are. It ain't a cult. <laughs> it's our bloodline. You know, we are a nation of people. So I just pray, whoever listening, uh, I just pray that you must have curious to take a stand. Mm. For the truth, you know. Indeed, indeed, man. I'll pray. And I, I just want to encourage you that, uh, you know, through fasting and prayer, it can be done. So I just pray that that a, a spirit of boldness rests upon you, that that the spirit of of the line of Judah come forth, and mm -hmm. that you can make that decision to take a stand. Mm. Indeed, man. To not vacillate back and forth, you know, who, whoever I may be talking to. Uh, yeah, that's all I had to say, King. Man, all praise to the Most High, man. All praise to the Most High. And, uh, and just something else for those who may be coming from the, a path similar to Bama. You know what I mean? Understand this. If you, the brother said he start, he was reading the Bible himself. You know what I mean? And, and that's something that going to allow you to come into it for the truth. If you want the truth, you really want the truth, to know the truth, you got to want that and be able to accept it. Even if it's against what everything you've been taught, you know, you got to want it sincerely. And in a sense, not waiting till you go to listen to the pastor bring out the scripture. You have to be seeking for yourself. True. Reading the word yourself. Uh, uh. You know what I mean? Because the way we recognize that things were off within the Sunday church, you know what I mean? What was that we were reading the scripture? Same way we can identify different sins and troubles and everything else in the world through the scriptures, through the book. We got if we're not reading it, we won't recognize what's going on. True. Come. And the adversary will be able to trick us. 
And with that being said, when you read it, you won't find Kojic in the Bible. You won't mm -hmm. find Baptist. You won't find Presbyterian. You won't find Methodist. You won't find Jehovah's Witness. You won't find none of these denominations. But what you will find is Israelites, the culture of the people. You will find it. You will find it that Christ said, the Messiah said, I came, I was sent, I, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh, he didn't say he was sent to the Kojic church. He didn't say he was sent to the Baptist church. He said, I am not sent. Let's read it as a matter of fact. Let's get that. Let me get that real quick. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. All right, because our souls, our very souls are on the line, brothers and sisters. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. It says, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So those people matter. And it's, it's such a blessing and beyond awesome that you, you and me, my, our people, we are included. We, we are in their house. Those people who are called Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High God, we descend from them. All right? All right? Uh, and, and linking back in with our culture. So, you know, aside from that, brother, I want to thank you, you know what I mean, for even taking the time out your day, brother, and, and you know what I mean, setting aside to be able to share, you know, part of your story. I'm sure much more, many other events that took place. I mean, but what you have brought forth with us and shared with us is definitely outstanding and encouraging for myself even. And, um, you know, uh, I, again, I just thank you for it, brother. And is, is it anything else before we close out that you would like to say, man? Anything else? Okay. Let's see. We got, get some on hold here. All right, but uh, what what I say, family? I, I pray that, that that today's um, you know, t today's endeavor, as I set out on for for someone to share their testimony, has touched you, you know, has moved you, has encouraged you, you know, any questions that you might have had have answered for questions for you, you know what I mean? And in that case, this, this is a part of why. So I, I'll read this to Sirach so chapter eleven. Sirach chapter 11, verse 2. It says, Command not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. All right, and, and we know that the, the scriptures have several different waves of manifold wisdom within one verse. But what I'm extracting from that to share with us or, or to bring on the table for us is, we don't know what one another has come from. You don't know. You can't just look at me and tell what, I can't, what, what I've been through nor the next brother or sister. So the story matters. And it, it, it's my hopes and intent, my prayer that through these testimonies as over time as the Father permit, uh, those who do come on to share their testimonies, that it will inspire others, encourage others, move others to repentance, those who may have backslid to come back into the fold. And again, making it more, making the truth more relatable. You know what I mean? Because it'd it be many brothers and sisters who said, when I came and I woke up, I thought I was the only one in my whole city. Or I thought I was the only one dealing with that. Or who went through that. All right? To show that you're not the only one. All right? So with that, I say all praises to the Most High. All praises, glory, and honor goes to the creator of the heavens and the earth, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I pray that the word has blessed you. Uh, any questions, comments, and concerns, uh, if you are willing uh, to share your testimony if you have a suggestion of someone else's testimony you would like to be heard on the show within the truth uh send your information or send send it contact me contact us at children of the prophets 144 at gmail.com everything spelled tradition is c h i l d r e n o f t h e P R O P H E T S 144 at gmail.com. All right, Shalom family. Bless y'all. Keep the faith.